Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome to episode 13 of your favorite Ramadan uh, late night show with your favorite late night host, this man standing in front of you right here. Uh, tonight is a very special episode for you guys. Tonight, uh, we're going to have you wondering about a question that has crossed our minds so many times, uh, yet no one has gave you the answer to, but hashtag LNT is here. I'm going to leave you keep on, keep, keeping on wondering what that question is. Until then, let's go and check out what's trending. And we'll be back very, very Once again, we do welcome everyone for joining us tonight. Now, to, tonight's episode, uh, we're trying to kick it off uh, with, with, with another Champions League news. Uh, I mean, the hype is done, I think, right? Uh, no one is super excited, but I, th I think not because... Uh, social media is going crazy uh, about what's going on with uh, with Liverpool uh, and uh, them losing the game. Uh, we did see the the, the, the goalie uh, actually missing up, messing up a little bit there and here and then uh, him losing a few balls, uh, which uh, resulted in the goals that Real Madrid scored. Although they were sick goals, uh, but this goal right here when Gareth Bale uh, shot it, deadly shot. Uh, but he started crying after the game, which uh, any loser would do, although mad, mad respect to him for only getting three goals, no more. Uh, but um, it didn't end there. People were sending him threats on social media, uh, and uh, now the police are investigating those threats uh, and uh, wanting to see who sent them and why. And will he be threatened again? That's for you guys to see in the upcoming episodes, inshallah. But uh, another... Um, topic for you guys for what's trending um, there has been a flood uh, in Maryland we did have a few uh, brothers joining us from Maryland uh, yesterday so hopefully they're okay but um, just a few hours ago six inches of rain fell uh, and the river rose 17 feet pouring into the valley it's the crazy the flash flood came in with like, a look roar at that. Watch Sunday that. turning so Main Street in Ellicott City Maryland into a raging river the fast moving water quickly swept away cars wow. and carried debris down the usually busy main street. Wow. The flash so flood. Hopefully came everyone uh, you know the cop car, I don't know why it's going in there. Uh, but hopefully everyone is, is okay. Uh, and uh, this is coming from hashtag LNT, all our brothers are down there. Um, hopefully everyone is okay uh, in Maryland. But let's go and jump into tonight's topic because I'm very excited about it. Sometimes when we have those, you know, wandering off moments, we start to contemplate on like f philosophical matters, like uh, why did this thing happen, where it happened, and and how it's happening, or how did it happen, you know, such ideas and 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 such. Uh, things when they pop through our mind, um, they make us wonder on various topics. But tonight, if you saw the commercial uh, for the episode, one of the theories or one of the ideas and matters that have been debated ever since it was published um, was the theory by Charles Darwin, which was presented in 1859. Now, in short, this theory states that there has been a evolve evolvement of a specific uh, species that changed over time. There are different ways of how these species changed, but most of them were described by the idea of natural selection, which we get to talk about. One very important part of this theory is the understanding that the individuals cannot evolve themselves. They can only adapt to their environment. Now, these adaptations add up over time. Uh, and eventually, the entire species, not just one species, the entire species evolve being different from uh, the way that it was before. Now, this can lead to new species forming at the same time. This can also lead uh, to the extinction of some species. Now, uh, if we were to look at the other side of the table, we have... Uh, what is based on religion, the creation of God, the creation of Allah. The belief that the universe and everything within that universe, especially uh, the creatures, 
everything within that universe has been created or it originates uh, from the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from, from a divine creation. Now tonight, Ahmed Ali along with the crew of hashtag LNC and everyone out there wants to know which side are you on? Which one do you think is the best? Evolution or creation? Which one do you believe in? Evolution or creation? Basically, what you can do is pick up the phone, open WhatsApp, and down the number shown right there, plus 964-774-067-1836. We did give you a little bit of Ramadan vibes uh, in that ad right there um, you know, so to, to help you or to motivate you uh, thinking about tonight's topic. But um, once again, you can open WhatsApp, uh, down the number shown uh, at the bottom of the screen, plus 964-774-067-1836, and let us know what you think. Uh, and remember, all the participants... Whoever, uh, whoever participates in tonight's episode and in the upcoming episodes until, up until the end of Ramadan, your names will be written down on these sticky notes right here, placed in this fishbowl right here, for a chance to win a free ziyar to Karbala at the end of Ramadan, the final draw on Eid. Now, we are live on Facebook as well, so you can go check us out uh, there. Uh, be sure to give that thumbs up, share, like, comment. Even the comments will also be placed in this bowl right here. But... Let's take a very, very short break, and we're back very short, so do stay tuned. Once again, we do welcome everyone for joining us tonight. We are live uh, from the holy city of Karbala, which is Mu'a Ahmad Ali. Now tonight, uh, as uh, we have been talking about earlier, we do remind everyone to call in and participate. But tonight uh, is, is, is a very interesting topic for me and for you guys because um, this topic has been debated, as I mentioned earlier, throughout centuries, throughout decades. This topic has been uh, mentioned and debated. Now, let's begin tonight's topic by talking about a brief history uh, of the theory of evolution. You know, it goes back all the way to the 1700s uh, when we first saw the theories uh, introducing that the species changed over time. Scientists uh, like Comte de Buffon, I think this guy was the grandfather, the great great grandfather of uh, Buffon, uh, the, <laughs> the 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 goalkeeper uh, of uh, Juventus and, and Italy, uh, but uh, and Charles Darwin's grandfather. Um, Ira, Ir, Erasmus uh, Darwin. Now, these two guys also proposed the idea uh, that species changed over time, but neither men knew why they changed and how they changed. They also kept a lot of their ideas um, under control and didn't publicize it because they, were f they, they, they feared uh, their uh, topics and their um, ideas were controversial to what the religious uh, points and the religious ideas of that time were, the religious views. Now, if we were to go and talk about Charles Darwin's theories, now, some or a lot of people refer to his theory as the survival of the fittest. Uh, this is uh, this guy right here. Let's, let's check out his picture. Charles Darwin, right there. Or there. There. Yeah, this guy. This guy right here. Uh, proposed the idea and, and the theory which is sometimes called the survival of the fittest. Now, natural selection, uh, which was uh, most famously explained in his book um, on the origins of species. Now, in his book, Darwin proposed uh, that individuals with traits um, more suitable to the environment they lived in are more likely to, to, to survive and those with less desirable traits of, of course they would you know die out and uh, they, 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 they wouldn't survive but if we were to move on and talk about how these individuals or what were these desirable traits we'll talk about them very short but if an individual has less favorable straight, uh, traits his offspring won't be able to receive those um, genes or those traits because a lot of times they won't be able to get those resources that his ancestors or the previous species had. But we just received a text message from Tanvir from India. He says, creation in the Quran is not told in one chapter but rather can be uh, pieced together from verses all over the book and 
the heaven, or this is the verse, and the heaven we constructed with strength, and indeed we are its extenders. Verse expander, sorry. Uh, verses 51, uh, ch chapter 51, verse 46. Thank you very much, Tanweer from India, uh, for joining us tonight. Uh, thank you very much once again. Now, Tanweer from India. India. Okay. 13. Okay. Thank you very much, Tanweer, once again. Your name will be placed inside the bowl. Now, um, some points he mentioned in there, he mentioned the Quranic verse as well. We do thank him once again. Now, if we were to go back and talk about the, th this, this very interesting theory that Charles Darwin proposed. Now, we talked about how only those who are able to adapt to that environment and those traits that we're talking about, if they had those traits, they will be able to adapt within the environment they, they are in, which can lead to new species, as you mentioned, or it can lead to the extinction of older species. Now, if we were to summarize Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, um, Charles Darwin proposed many ideas within that theory. One of those, um, one of the uh, ways that he explained natural selection was through a few points. Now, those few points, we have summarized them for you guys. The first one is that there were more organisms than the ones that can actually survive. So in that case, there, there was a competition between the organisms. Um, whichever got to the resources first was able to survive. Hence, individuals within a population vary in traits. This is why when we see a lot of people, sometimes they're taller than others. These were the favorable traits that were passed down um, and they were inheritable. Now, some variants are better adapted to survive um, and hence they can reproduce uh, under local conditions unlike the other species. Better adapted individuals, the fit enough as he mentioned within his book, are more likely to, to survive and reproduce as well. Hence, species whose individuals are best adapted to survive only and those who become extinct uh, and, and those who aren't uh, able to adapt uh, will become extinct. But we just have received a text message from, a uh, voice message, sorry, from John Averton from the UK, okay? Hello, um, my name is John Everton, and I'm from England. I have seen parts of the show uh, where it is uh, basically to choose between evolution or um, creation. Well, I do believe that the matter of creation is being denied through the Pope himself when he said that he supports part of the theory of creation as being uh, partly scientifically proven, yet it is a very, um, it is a very confusing thing to choose between creation or um, evolution, but if what you mean with creation is that people, humans, were made of clay, then I'd rather definitely support evolution, even though it's a theory. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, John, John Everton, uh, for joining us tonight. So, uh, John, why is this pen now? Huh. Okay, John Everton, thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight. Your name will be placed in the bowl. Hopefully, everyone gets the chance to win a free trip to Karbala. Now, uh, we are getting a few Facebook messages. We'll get to uh, we'll get to them very soon, inshallah. But let's take a very short break, and we'll be back very short. Once again, we do welcome everyone for joining us tonight. 
Uh, now, uh, I just check the Facebook comments. Uh, a lot of people are, are sending their salams to Imam Hussain. It's perfect. It's perfect. But you guys can do that in an earlier show. It's called Welcome to Karbala. You can guys, you guys can go and do that. You know, yesterday, what well, was funny? I was going through the comments and I saw Salam Ya Hussein. When I went to the live broadcast on Facebook of uh, Muhammad Ali, I saw the same people commenting on his post and commenting on my post or on, on Alan T's post. Um, so th this, this is not a part two of Welcome to Karbala. This is, this is Alan T, a separate show, separate topic, separate idea um, of, of the show. So um, if, if, if you guys, uh, it's, it's good if you, it's good, send your salams in my show, not, not in this show. But um, once again, we do remind everyone for joining us, uh, for, for you know, participating tonight uh, and letting us know what your opinion is. Tonight's topic is about evolution or creation. What do you think? What do you think is the proper theory? Creation is in theory, but evolution is. So which one do you support the most? Theory? Theory? Uh, so theory, you know. uh, evolution or creation? Darwin or God? That mix up right there. All right. Uh, wow. I don't know what, what comment I got in my ear right now. But um, if we were to move on and talk about um, how we compared uh, between Darwin and God, you know, there's no comparison. But at the theory that Darwin pr uh, proposed that a lot of people are taking into consideration nowadays, um, scientists have disproved that theory. And we'll get to talk about how the Quran also disproves that theory. Uh, but... Um, let's go and check what the expert has to say uh, about tonight's uh, topic. We have Sayyid Hussain Qazwini for j joining us tonight uh, on evolution or creation. To him. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi al-Tayyibin al-Tahirin. Does Islam believe in evolution or creation? This is a very important question. And that is, does Islam have to necessarily pick one? Or can it pick both? Maybe we can argue that Islam believes in both. Creation and evolution. Creation, that's obvious. The world major religions, they, uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, these Abrahamic faiths, they believe in creation. Adam was uh, the first homo sapien to be created. And this is very clear that he was created from sand and Allah. He was molded in, into the shape of a human and Allah blew in him his spirit. Does that negate the theory of evolution? Not necessarily. Evolution could be in other animals. For example, it could be in, in all other animals, but it not necessarily uh, have to relate to humans. If, if this is possible, we have to see if, if this works scientifically. But that, that's a possibility that evolution applied to all other animals except uh, human beings. This is one theory. Another theory or another way of joining between creation and, and evolution is to say that humans as in Homo erectus, not Homo sapiens, because Adam السلام, was the first of Homo sapiens, those were, had evolved from other species, from fish or other, other animals. But not Homo sapiens being the children of Adam السلام. At the end of the day, if we can conform between evolution and creation in, in this sort of way, then so be it. Otherwise, we still stand with creation and evolution remains a theory. A theory meaning that, is, uh, that it's not a fact. Gravity is a fact. The earth is round, that's a fact. Evolution remains a theory. So if we cannot conform between creation and evolution, we still stand with creation. <laughs> Uh, 
Thank you very much, Sayyida, for joining us tonight, Sayyid Hassan Qazwini. Uh, once again, we do thank you and uh, very, very beneficial points, uh, as he mentioned. But to continue uh, from what uh, Sayyid Hassan Qazwini was, was saying, uh, I would like to mention a few Quranic verses um, that dispel the theory uh, of evolution. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in chapter Al Sajda, verse 7, Allah says, Who perfected everything which he created and began the creation from man of man from clay then he continues in, a, in another chapter another verse chapter al-a'raf verses 11 he says and we have certainly created you O mankind and given you human form then we said to the angels prostrate to adam so they prostrated except for iblis satan um which didn't accept that and didn't prostrate to Adam um, and uh, he was not of those who prostrated. Then in another verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in uh, another verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in chapter al-Safat verse 11 he says then inquire of them O Muhammad addressing Prophet Muhammad are they a stronger of creation or others that we have created indeed we've created man from sticky clay and this is one of the one of the um, excuses or, or, or one of the uh, points that uh, Satan used against uh, God um, was the idea that he was created from fire, Adam was created from clay. So how can you prostrate to this individual? Now, if we were to go back and, and, and try to um, refute, not, not so much refute, but look at the theory of Darwin and try to look at it from an Islamic perspective um, and to see if, if this is correct or not, um, we would have to look at the birth of Jesus and if it was uh, evolution, um, if you believed in evolution, where was the father of Jesus? In an Islamic point of view, where was the father of Jesus and how did the evolution play part into this? Now, similar as the camel of Idris, the she camel of Idris, it came straight from a mountain where there was no camels in there. So how did that happen? Where is the evolution in that as well? The staff of Moses, a prime example as well. Where is the evolution within that part? You can say it's magic, but it wasn't. It was a proof of God. So we can see how God, within his powers, he was able to change all of these, change the staff of Moses into a snake. Now Allah did create humans with different abilities uh, and different heights, uh, if you will. But at the same time, if we were to go back and look at what uh, Ad mentioned in the Quran, and if we were to look at Abel and how the, the son of Adam, um, I think the guys have a picture for us, uh, the, the, the grave of, of Abel. Um, look how in, in Syria, it's, it's crazy, it's, it's, it's huge. I've seen this in, in person and it's huge, it's huge. Uh, some narrations say he was over 50 feet, but I don't know if that's true or not, but he was huge. So the different heights, we don't see a person that, that, that tall anymore. But to give us how evolution didn't play a role within the religion of Islam. If we were to go in within the Quran and also talk about how um, there is some kind of evolution, um, there's a natural change within the Quran, where we see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changing the form of the transgressors from a human form to an animal form. So right there, people are going to start saying, oh, see, evolution exists. It doesn't because these individuals that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala transformed them from being human to animals didn't live longer than three days. So it was a punishment, but it was before Prophet Muhammad's time. It doesn't exist now, or it might exist, but the, the effect that I had before Islam is more than right now. People used to get punished through that to look at the sign of Allah, but now it's different. Now there are other, there are other signs of God where a person can look at and really uh, try to comprehend the idea of creation. We did, just get, uh, we did just receive a text message from? Oh, from Fazimul again from Trinidad. She says, creation, Allah said in the Quran he teach Adam everything okay uh, thank you very much Fazimun uh, for joining us tonight your name has already been in here uh, but thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight
Now, uh, another verse in Al-Baqarah that also uh, proves uh, the idea that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, punished the transgressors. We are getting a few comments, uh, but uh, punished the transgressors uh, at the time of the prophets before Islam. He did it and the, he tried to show people that in order to, to have faith, you need to believe in God or in order to in, in order to have faith, you need proofs. Just like chapter uh, the second chapter of the Quran, uh, verse 65, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, and you had already known about those who transgressed among you concerning uh, the Sabbath. And we said to them, be apes despised. That right there, people cannot use that as, 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 a, as a point or as an argument within evolution because they did not stay alive more than three days. Now, um, a portion for tonight, we got from uh, Fawziya uh, Faizi, she says, Salamun Alaikum creation indeed as the creator Allah has the power to create and destroy anything human has a hu human as has as human and his so-called brains are also created by Allah so the supreme always rule it's just a matter of belief okay thank you very much uh, Fawziya for joining us tonight your, your name has already been placed in here um, so inshallah we'll give the chance for everyone else uh, to uh, tune in and, and participate but that's it for tonight tonight we are focusing on very important topics um, uh, tonight we're talking about the evolution versus creation at the end it's safe to say that individual has to believe in the idea of creation because it all goes back to the mentality of, of, of an individual if an individual is able to comprehend the idea that we're um, we come from apes then he really needs to improve himself he his brain ne really needs to evolve into a fully matured brain but if an individual Instead of evolution, then there's a debatable ground that we can debate on. Oh, you, you can also debate with, with people that believe in evolution, but there are certain facts that individual need to, uh, needs uh, to have, and scientists have proved this as well. Many scientists uh, have disproved uh, the theory of evolution. You can go check this out, or you can re-watch the episode and take uh, jot down some points from tonight's episode. This was Ahmed Ali coming to you live from the holy city of Karbala. Tune in for the upcoming episodes at 2 a.m. Karbala time, 12 a.m. London time, and 7 p.m. DC time. Thank you very much for tuning in. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.